So as promised, I am here with my Ulta haul and I'm going to include a couple of things that I've picked up from like Nordstrom Rack and Lorac and all that stuff since I do have them. I've shamefully hoarded them and I kept them in a little safe box. So I'm going to show you guys what I got so you guys can give me suggestions on future tutorials or any future review that you want to hear from me within these items that I'm going to show you. So I'm going to show you guys the things that I got from Ulta first and I'm not sure, I already showed you the self-made palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills but I showed you from my Sephora haul but that one I'm going to reserve for a giveaway so this one is specifically for me. This first three items that I got, I got for free because I used all my points from Ulta. Every single year, I usually kind of collect my points throughout the year and do like an early Christmas present to me using all my points. So at least if you gather at least 2,000 points, I believe it's $125. So, so this one was one of the things that I got with my points. And then I'll definitely show you guys some close-ups and a swatch as well. And then the next one is the Vice 4 palette. I was actually debating on not getting this. I've skipped out on the past few Vice palettes. I only have Vice 2. I didn't get last year's. But this year's colors really spoke to me. They have a nice warm transition color and I really thought that this palette is really really pretty and I think it's a little bit thinner compared to the Vice 2 that I have. So I figured I should just go ahead and get it and if it's for free, why not? And the last big item that I got with my points is the Lorac Mega Pro 2. This definitely was the number one item on my list. When the Mega Pro from last year, I do have that right here. I know I never really mentioned it too much or did much like a tutorial or anything because I know when that was released, it was... It was basically sold out so quickly and a lot of people were mad and so like if I keep showing it to you, it's just kind of like rubbing it in and I didn't want to do that. This time they actually released it at Ulta and I don't believe it's sold out at all. So if you were looking for a Christmas present, I think this is a really nice gift. It's $59 and I got to spend my points on this baby so basically it was Free. Let me know if you guys want to see a tutorial with this palette as well or an in-depth review. And the next item I picked up is this Becca Afterglow palette. I picked this up mainly because I didn't have a lot of things from Becca. I don't own any blushes. I only have a mini of the Opal highlighter and this palette I thought was a really offered a really great selection of blushes and highlighters for a very reasonable price. Granted, they're really small. They're a little bit smaller pan-wise to the Jaclyn Hill palette, but I feel like they give you such a nice sampling of the products in here that they offer in the line for a reasonable price. I believe this was $38. Definitely excited to try this out, and the colors in here are pretty gorgeous. The next one I picked up from Ulta is the Stila Eternal Love Liquid Lip Set. I know they released a bigger set at Sephora, and I know the bigger set of this liquid lip stick is also available at Ulta but I'm not too big of a fan of the Stila formula so I just wanted to try the little one and the colors in here are really pretty so the three colors in this is Bossy, Beso, and Rico and I thought this was a really cute set for $20. I thought it was really really reasonable and then you can usually you can probably even buy this or gift this to someone and use this as a stocking stuffer. So I thought that was a really cute set. And then the last thing that I picked up from Ulta is the, the Lorac Pro Matte. I pretty much have almost all the pro palettes that Lorac has released and I thought this was really pretty and I wanted to get this because of the burgundy color I know it's not really a reasonable excuse when you have the giant pro palettes the mega pro and whatnot but I thought this one would make such a nice travel companion because it has nice little matte colors and if I were to compare this to the Naked Basics palette for Naked Basics 1 and 2, I have both. I do prefer this one because I like the colors more and I like that it came with a burgundy shade. And the next few things I'm going to show you guys are things that I've picked up in random places. So first thing is I got this one, this little set from Stila at Nordstrom Rack. And I thought this was a really cute set. It is their Stila Convertible Trio in Lilium, Petunia, and Hibiscus. And this was only $10 at Nordstrom Rack. And, and I wanted to pick this up because it's getting cold. So usually in the summertime, I don't like 
creamy products because they kind of just slide off in the face when your face is sweating in the summer heat. But now that it's colder, I feel like my skin can withstand the creamy products and actually hold it together and not get too greasy or slide off on my face. So I wanted to give this a try and it has really pretty colors. I only have one of these convertible colors, so I wanted to include this in my collection. And for $10, you can't really pass that up. And the last find I had from Nordstrom Rack, which I was really, really excited about because I missed out when this was released on in Nordstrom.com, is the Lorac Skinny Marsala Palette. I thought this, this was $14.97. I thought that was such a good price and the packaging is pretty simple. I have two... I already have two of these little skinny palettes from Lorac and I thought this would make such a good addition because it has a really nice theme because Marsala is the color of the year and the colors in this palette are pretty gorgeous so definitely such a good find because they only had maybe three left and everything else was kind of like touched and whatnot. And the next few things that I'm going to show you guys are from random online purchases, uh, mainly palettes because I did buy some things from Ulta but they're more drugstore store products and I wanted to include that in a drugstore haul. So this one right here is from Per Minerals and Cinderella is probably my favorite Disney princess and I named my dog Cinderella because she's the bomb. I got the Cinderella palette from the Per Minerals um, website because they had like a coupon and I think I, they paid a pretty decent price for this palette. I think it was like 20 something dollars and it was free shipping. So this palette is so cute and it opens up like this and there's the Cinderella and I think their theme is more of the Cinderella movie which is wearing that bright blue ball, ball gown. So you have four cheek products and then, and then you open the palette and you have the eyeshadows here and it has the little carriage right here which I thought was so cute and you pull the little thing right here and you get six lip products I don't really like lip products like this because I tend to not use them usually they usually dry out or they get dirty so but I like that it's kind of like in a hidden compartment right here I just really think that the whole package is put together so cute and I mainly got this because it was Cinderella not necessarily for the colors and whatnot because I really wanted to kind of just display this palette I know makeup order problems but it's such a cute palette if it, I believe it's still available and if your Kohl's holds the entire pure minerals line I think you'd be able to spot this as well and the next few items I got from the Lorac website I got a really good deal on these products because I picked this up when they were having like a 30 30 or 40 percent off the entire site. I'm not really sure when this was but I finally decided to pick up the Pro Contour because it was such a good price. I paid like $29 for it. And the next item I picked up from Lorac is this Lorac Alter Ego Dream Girl palette. I've mentioned this palette in a haul a long time ago that I've always wanted it but I didn't really want to spend $24 on it so when this when the whole website went on sale I was like might as well buy it and I thought this had really fun colors. These are more summery colors though. And from that order, I ordered a Lorac Creamy Brow Pencil. I haven't even opened this and I hauled this a long time ago and I just kind of kept it to the side. So definitely excited to see to see how this performs with my brows. Um, and then they, they gave a Lorac Pro Fiber Mascara little sample. So excited to try that. Items I've picked up, I picked up from Sleek.com. I have a few Sleek palettes and I believe they were having like a whole website sale. It was like 20% off. And that's usually a time when I go shopping for makeup in general. And these items, just to let you know, I did not buy this in one sitting. This has been kind of accumulated throughout the past few months maybe, like a month or two and I haven't featured a haul for you guys so I'm due for a haul so I'm showing you all of these but I picked up this sleek base duo kit and I thought this was a really kind of convenient little palette so on the top you have a powder and then on the bottom is a cream foundation I already tried the cream foundation it's a little too greasy for my liking but I'm definitely just gonna try the I'm gonna use the powder for this I picked this up mainly to try to see if I can maybe put this in my to go make a bag because it already has a foundation and powder together and a sleek little compact but I don't I'm not really fond of cream foundations in general I already knew that to begin with and this was no different I don't like it and then I picked up this sleek makeup um, little palette it's supposed to have 
It's a mini palette that has a blush, two blushes, and some eyeshadows. Um, I thought this was a really cute little set. I picked this up mainly because it was on sale for like $5 and I needed to reach that amount in my cart to get free shipping so I picked this up and it's really pretty I like this pumpkin blush but um, I was thinking the palette's gonna be a little bit bigger but it's actually quite small for, to get the brush into those blushes but I think it's still a really pretty compact palette to have and then the last thing I picked up from sleek is one of their sleek eye divine palette and I believe this one is in their ultra mattes v2 I have three of the sleek palettes already and the quality of these eyeshadows are really nice. I have also special vintage romance and sunset and I thought this would be this would be a nice addition to tie in everything together since this mainly has MAC eyeshadows. So I thought this would make a night this together with the rest of the ones I already own would make a nice sleek family. And the next thing I picked up is, I, I swear this is like a palette haul, but the next thing I picked up is the Diva Makeup Queen Dream Big Palette. If you guys know Diva Makeup Queen, which is Wendy, um, she has her own makeup line and she has an eyeshadow palette. I picked this up because of the really pretty colors that she has in the palette and it's nice to support a fellow YouTuber so I thought the colors are really pretty in this palette and I'm definitely excited to play with this palette. And the last thing I'm going to show you guys in this haul is this NYX Butt Naked Underneath It All palette. I posted this on my Instagram and NYX liked my picture and it almost got like a thousand likes which was so freaking awesome. I actually got this one from Bed Bath & Beyond and it was... I believe I paid $20 because I had a $5 off coupon. NYX has released previous butt naked palettes, like they're kind of like nude palettes before, but n those didn't really interest me as far as colors because I already have owned so many like neutral shades. But when I saw this, I thought the shades of this are really, really pretty for fall. And if you guys know of the Morphe 35O palette, I've been trying to hunt that down, but it's always sold out. So I figured I have a little mini 35O palette and this little next one and for if you're thinking of a Christmas present I think this would be such a cute little present as well as eyeshadows and then you get three highlighters and then four blushes so I thought this has really great value and the blush and the blushes and the eyeshadows are actually really nice and pigmented so that pretty much concludes this Ulta and some random places palette haul. I hope you guys found this helpful. Let me know if you guys want a further review or a tutorial on any of these palettes. I'm definitely gonna do a tutorial on the Mega Pro and then the Anastasia and the Urban Decay palette. But if you wanted to do a review as well, let me know in the comments down below. I'd be more than happy to do that for you. Granted time. I know Christmas is just right around the corner and I'm trying to catch up with my video showing you guys this haul. I'm definitely I'm gonna do maybe a holiday wish list video for things that you should put on your makeup wish list I guess this holiday season some of the best of the best palettes that I've come across um, from the time that I've been kind of collecting and hoarding these palettes so that is pretty much all I have for you guys thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys later bye